Hi everyone, my name is Peter and today I wanted to talk to you about AWS Systems Manager. AWS Systems Manager includes loads of different capabilities and features. Today we'll be focusing on Session Manager, Fleet Manager and Patch Manager. So I'm going to jump across to AWS Systems Manager and I will be showing you how to get started in a manner of matter of minutes. So let's jump across. To start with, I have two uh, servers running. The one is a Windows server, the other is a Linux server, and those are the servers that we're gonna get set up with Systems Manager. One thing to note is that Systems Manager works with an agent, and that agent does come pre-installed on a number of instances, but not on all instances. So bear that in mind. Also, if you have on-premise services or your other, a or other AMIs, you may need to uh, go in and install Systems Manager on those. In Systems Manager, where we start is Quick Setup. And by going to Quick Setup, this sets up a number of roles for you automatically. If you already have roles that you're using on your EC2 instances, you do need to make sure that the permissions you use are associated with those roles. I'll choose these roles and we'll go down from there. I'm going to change scan instances for patches daily. I'm going to take that off because I'll be showing you how to do it in Patch Manager shortly. And then choose all instances. We'll leave that as on and click on enable. I'll give this a moment or two. What this is gonna do is it will be setting up the roles I spoke about and doing a few other things in the background. If we look at one of these servers, now it has an IAM role of Amazon SSM. While that's happening, I'll get started with Patch Manager. I'll click on Patch Manager on the left. We're gonna click on View Predefined Patch Baselines because we're gonna set up patch groups. To set up patch groups, we start with patch baselines. Patch baselines define the severity, criticality of the patches you use. If I click on one of these, you'll see critical and important. You'll see wait seven days before approving. These are all things you can set up manually for yourself. I'm going to use the patches that have been predefined and set up by AWS already. So I'll pick Amazon Linux 2 because that's one of my instances. And I'm gonna click Actions, Modify Patch Groups. I'm gonna give it a name, Production Server, click Add. That's the name of our patch group. Patch groups effectively associate patch baselines with the instances that you want to ensure are patched by those patch baselines. You'll see that there is only one patch baseline here for now. So I'm gonna click on production server, change patch, patch baseline registration and add the Windows patch baseline. Now we've got both of our patch baselines. So that's the patch group set up. What you might notice is that there's a patch group name here of production server. To get these instances of mine associated with that patch group, I need to go back to the EC2 server. I need to click on tags and I need to go manage tags, add tag and call this patch group. So it's important that you call it patch group and nothing else, it needs to be named patch group like that exactly. And then we put the name of our patch group in there. Let's do the same for our Windows server. Now that should uh, have set up Patch Manager for us effectively. Uh, it's gonna take a moment or two for it to show up. This is still configuring. While we wait for that, I'm gonna go across to Fleet Manager. 
Cool, so we got both of our instances and in Fleet Manager. We can go back to Systems Manager, Patch Manager, and let's get our patching configured. Click on Configure Patches, select Patch Group. This is what we set up earlier, remember? Schedule in a new maintenance window. I'm going to choose every day and let us pick 094. That'll patch our instances in two minutes' time. I'll give it a two hour maintenance window and call it maintenance. You can set up however long you need. More servers will need a longer duration here, the servers will need to be rebooted. Patching operation, I'll leave it on scan and install and click on configure patching. While we wait for the patching to take place, let me show you Fleet Manager quickly. Now this is really cool. I can click on one of these instances. Let's pick the Linux server first. I can click on file system on the left here. It'll show us the folders. I can click on users and groups. I can see all of the users. You can also set up performance counters in the interest of time. I haven't set it up now because you do need to set up your KMS encryption first. Windows is a little different. So let's click on the Windows instance. Here you see our folders are slightly different. We've got a C drive. That'll come up in a moment. We've got our Windows registry. You can go through your registry and look at that and even create uh, keys. We've got our Windows event logs. And we've also got users and groups. The other thing we can do, either through this directly or in Session Manager, is we can click on Instance Actions and we can start a session. While we wait for these instances to patch, I'm just going to show you something very quickly. If we go back to Instances, I'm going to click on the Linux 2 server. Let's look at the security group. Here's our security group, and it's allowing port 22 in. Let's change that. Let's edit the inbound rule. Let's delete it. So now there's no port 22 in, and in theory, we can't access our instance anymore, right? Go back to EC2 dashboard to make sure. Security group, no inbound rules. Let's go back to systems manager. Let us look at patch manager. I clicked on the wrong thing there. Patch Manager. Reporting. So let's select our patch group. Remember, this is what we set up earlier. Production server. I'm going to create a new maintenance window. I'm going to choose every day. And then let's make this 07, 8. So that'll update in two minutes. Maintenance window, I'll leave it as, I'll change it to two hours. You might need a longer period if you've got lots of servers. And I'll call it daily paint window. I'll leave the patching operation as scan and install and go, go configure patching. Cool. So if we click on dashboard, we'll see that there's two instances that have never reported any sort of compliance. While we wait for that, I'll just show you Fleet Manager quickly. There's a few things you can do in Fleet Manager, which is pretty cool. We can click on one of these instances. 
This is our Windows instance. You can see platform type Windows. We can click on File System. And we can see the C drive. We can click on Registry. We can see our registry. We can even create a registry key if we want. If we go back to the instance, we can look at users and groups. You do need to configure KMS to see the performance counters. I haven't done that yet, so I'm going to ignore that and click across to what we can do in our Linux instance. We can also see the file system. We can also see users and groups. And then the other thing that we can do is, if we look at our instances, we'll notice what I did was I removed an inbound rule. So there are no inbound rules. Normally, we'd require TCP 22 to SSH into this instance. We have no TCP 22. If we go back to Systems Manager on our Linux instance, what we can do is we can go Instance Actions, Start Session. What's going to happen? We're connected to our instance. So the neat thing about Systems Manager is it will give you terminal access to your instances without even needing a security group to be configured. And it just does it straight through the browser. Same thing for our Windows Server. Be neat, huh? And then let's go back and see what is happening with our patching. So it's busy patching the instances right now. We can see one is compliant. The other one hasn't reported compliance yet, so it's still busy with that. If we go back to Fleet Manager, that's another thing we can see. We can click on the instance, and we can click on Patch. And we can see this one, which is our Windows Server, has our 26 updates installed. Let's go back to Fleet Manager. Let's see whether the Linux instance is done yet. Patch, 62 updates are installed. So by now, Patch Manager should have completed all of those updates. There we go. Two of our instances are in compliance. Reporting, it tells us that they're compliant, they've been patched, and that is that. Super easy to get Patch Manager up and running. Fleet Manager provides you a lot of useful information about your instances and lets you connect your instances. If you want to rather connect your instances directly without going through Fleet Manager, you can click on Session Manager on the left here. Click on Start Session, and then pick one of your instances to connect to. Start Session. So you can see it's super duper easy to get started with Systems Manager. You can do it literally in a matter of minutes. Get everything set up, access your machines via the Session Manager, you don't have to worry about keys. You don't have to worry about getting terminal up and running. You can just connect directly from here. And Patch Manager can make sure your instances are patched and up to date and secure on a super regular basis um, with some great easy automation. So I hope you found this useful and look forward to presenting another video to you in the future. Bye-bye.